um, our discussion, the outline is first we will going to talk about movies as media and then arts, movies and psychology. And the third is the representation. Uh, number one and number, especially number two, I think has been discussed uh, quite extensively uh, before. Uh, so I can just recap. Yeah, movie is one of mass media. So we know that uh, there are many mass media. What is mass media? Mass media mean, yeah, it is a way of communicating with many people, massive, yeah, mass. Uh, so many people. Uh, so this is on the media, and we are uh, communicating with many, uh, not only one people, but with uh, hundreds, sometimes thousands, and it can be uh, millions of people. So in the past, we have layar tancap or misper, krimis, buper. <laughs> um, but now, sometimes we enjoy movies with our family or with our friends uh, in nice, cozy, and sometimes luxurious building. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, today it's hard to find these things because of the pandemic. But now, uh, enjoying movie can be also a private activity. Yeah, you can watch this using your mobile phone in your bedroom. So uh, the main idea is that as a media, movie is uh, very easy to access and almost everybody uh, do that. Yeah. Now, uh, it reaches wide audience yeah, to entertain, to educate, and sometimes to indoctrinate. Yeah? So this is the function of movie SMS media. Uh, to entertain, yes, uh, who Hetty has explained us, you know, to have fun, to educate, and to indoctrinate, I think uh, that is, um, we cannot deny that, that movies can function as uh, the mean to educate and to indoctrinate. Now, uh, arts, movies, and psychology, yeah, this has been done, uh, has been uh, explained by especially Primatia before. Yeah, there are many books. It is actually a quite fertile field of research. Here, for example, just some books about this psychology of artists and the arts. Uh, towards psychology of arts by Anheim, psychology of aesthetics and the arts. Anheim's is quite popular in uh, dealing with uh, film as art or arts and psychology. And I think Abu Primatia have uh, has explained to you about how arts can be a therapy. Yeah. Okay. And how about movies? Uh, arts and movies can uh, movies uh, represent perception uh, and perception. So here, movies and perception, perception and movies. So yeah, this is uh, uh, you know vice versa or two ways uh, process. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, movies and perception, perception and movies. So here, people, uh, and this is children with special needs. Um, and uh, the, in the middle, we have media. This is an example, a movie, Inside Out. Yeah. Um, this movie uh, brings, uh, before the, the maker uh, uh, made the movie, of course, uh, the maker tried to understand what uh, happens to uh, the children with special need. So this this movie is a result of perceiving uh, children with special need, and the people will see uh, the children with special need from uh, or using this media. So in some ways, it helps. It may helps understand the children with special need better, or if. Or in other case, it may distort. It depends on how well or how good uh, the media present uh, the realities. 
But in most cases, um, we will see that the movie can be a very powerful media to change uh, the perception about uh, the children, especially. We will uh, deal with this uh, later. Uh, here, for example, when we create, yeah, we try to understand what happens uh, to children with special needs. Uh, good movie makers will do some uh, research, yeah, to understand a better. For example, in the Rain Man, yeah, the, uh, there was special psychiatrist as a consultant. Yeah, so uh, the movie makers didn't just uh, go and. Uh, write movie and then make movie, but they need to consult. And then uh, we can also consume movie. So here, uh, both will uh, influence our perception. So as creators, yeah, we can uh, present the visual images of uh, what we know. Uh, that is a challenge as artistic uh, expression of artistic arts. Uh, by doing that, we can amplify the messages. What the message we're going to tell the people? Yeah, for example, that uh, uh, those children with special needs are also uh, human, and we need to treat them as equal, and so on. By doing so, then we can influence the people to change their perception. That is as creators. As consumers or viewers, yeah, we can enjoy, we appreciate, we can also do some analysis. And the analysis can be light, uh, can be medium, can be critical. So we can make a research, uh, you, you're very critical one, or just have some comments on movies or on YouTube you watch and so on. We by doing so, and then we try to understand what's going on or what happens or what is actually uh, autism, for example. And then it is hoped that we can improve our attitudes. Uh, after that, we can help promote uh, the message uh, in that movie. That is uh, the process of amplification. Yeah, uh, you can, uh, as a consumer, yeah, you can use Google search. Uh, it's very easy. There are so many information about the uh, movies here. Yeah, uh, it's very easy. Uh, and there are not only that there are information about movies, but also you can find here uh, many, what is it, many blogs or many special web pages um, dedicated to or informed you about uh, movies and autism. You can also search YouTube, of course. And in YouTube, there are yeah, so many uh, information about this. For example, here, top 10 inspirational characters who play in movies. So the, the, the actors are actually someone with uh, special abilities, uh, disabilities. And here we have top 10 movies about autism. And I uh, hear how movies help boy with autism and still, thousand of others, yeah? Uh, that is search using YouTube. How then children with special needs are represented? Well, it depends on uh, the genre of the movie. Usually, uh, so far as we observe, yeah? Um, many are in documentary, uh, documentary here, and biography and animation. A little bit on adventure, uh, mainly on family also. Um, uh, yeah, you can learn about what, what genre and how they differ from each other. But I didn't find uh, children with special needs in other, uh, other genre, but perhaps you can tell me uh, if you can find that. Okay, um, this, this is an example of uh, Famous one, um, a boy with autism who was able to uh, discover or solve the puzzles, but then become a threat for the national security. That is uh, a very famous and successful movie. In this uh, movie, 
autism was presented with action. Yeah, and this is an action movie, a thriller movie. Uh, look at this uh, poster here. This autistic boy was like hiding yeah, under the protection of this, our hero. Yeah, uh, the autism, uh, the autistic boy was in danger and he needs uh, protection. Well, it is an action movie anyway. Yeah, okay. Another one, this is not uh, autistic. I don't know who, what happens to Tom Hanks, but he has uh, the forest gum. He has a special uh, needs, I guess. But what is interesting in this movie is that uh, forest gum is in the middle of global conflicts and become the, participated, yeah? He participated in uh, some United States main events, main historical events especially what happens in Vietnam War. So in this uh, context, we'll make uh, Forest Camp become a uh, very important uh, character in that movie. Well, Ren Man, I think it's also so famous. It's a journey of two brothers to come to terms with each other. This uh, by Dustin Hoffman uh, suffered from, uh, yeah, he, he got the autistic uh, syndrome and this uh, Tom Cruise, his brother, yeah, needs uh, to struggle to be with him. So uh, this is an example of how representation becomes a complication in some time. Uh, Redman was, this is according to uh, the manuscript consultant. Yeah. Uh, he told uh, the, newspaper, the newspaper man that well, yeah, Rain Man help us understand autism. Yes, it is great. And uh, Rain Man was so successful, but yeah, uh, uh, well, there are many things about autism which uh, cannot be exposed, which cannot be found in that movie. So in some ways, uh, well, perhaps it is not really accurate, uh, but it is great, you know. So that is mixed, uh, uh, mixed uh, plus, yeah, in that movie. So if we talk about the spectrum of autism disorder, there are so many here, social communication, interest, very restricted, uh, feel depressed, anxiety, irritability, and so on. Of course, it is not easy yeah, to represent the so wide spectrums in about 10 minutes of a movie, yeah, it is almost impossible, yeah. But uh, that is the challenge for uh, artists, yeah, for movie makers uh, to be able to make a good movie in order to promote uh, uh, equality and awareness about movie. Okay, so conclusion, yeah, movies as media is powerful and arts, movies and psychology express and change perception and how to represent uh, children with special needs in movies, yeah, that's a challenge. It is not easy. And need some research, careful attention, careful um, uh, works, education, and uh, of course, yeah, some resources to do that. Yeah, okay. Um, I think Hetty also explained that one of our efforts is to promote the, the, what is it, uh, equality that is by having virtual exhibition, probably the committee will inform you on this later on. Thank you very much. Uh, 